Karen learns law on filming in public. Uh uh. Hi, interview me. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh jeez. She look like Kirby. We don't, do, we don't do interviews, otherwise I would. What are you doing? I am trying to take some video and pictures, and people keep asking me what I'm doing. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to take pictures and video. Of what? Okay. Um, I don't have the, the sun's not going to be up long enough for me to explain everything to you. Then why would we? Why, why are you doing it? Won't Karen still exist? Oh my gosh, you're so out there. What are you doing? Taking pictures and video. Okay, why? Because that's what I feel like doing today. Okay. Even the daughter's like, okay, mom, just. Where's the stills? Because I love to shop there. Well, there you go. Carry on with that. I hope you enjoy yourself. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you get sued. You hope I get sued? What? Sued for what? For badgering. Oh, the husband. You get my face, bro. Are you my face, bro? I'm, I haven't. What? Oh, uh, no, I'm, listen, I'm not moving my feet. Like uh, you feel like I'm harassing? Do you yeah. see this? Yeah, I'm. I'm it's okay. Part of what I do is helping people get educated. So you'll get an education today. Police are going to show up. They're going to tell you to leave me alone and go about your. It's like fuck. You're right. Oh God. So, do you have a contract with the city hall and with this? She's doing the Karen hands. Do you uh, belong here? Respect, I would have given you respect. You don't. You get what you give in this world. Oh my god, police pulled up. How are we doing, sir? Good, how are you, man? All right. You gonna tell him to stop? These gentlemen have been filming people coming into the store without their permission. And they're on a public sidewalk. Ready, Bap? How? And out of the store. I do sit work. They're so uncomfortable. To the store, asking why they're it's being not against the law. It's there. It's not against the law to be rude to ladies. No. Do they have a contract here? They don't need one. It's public place. Okay. No, they do need one. No, ma'am. They don't. Oh, gee. Oh, so she's not going to believe the police either. There you go. Well, and that guy had to pull up to that store for that. Bro. She's bored. Oh, she really had to do that. Could have grabbed somebody that was on a high speed chase. I think that most people in society, you know, we're looking at a magnifying glass of society, but I can't believe these people exist. You're exhausting. And then the cop comes, man, they're good. They, you can't. They're good. It's it's legal. Is that not illegal to just film in public? Sit, man. Do, do you know the laws? You're talking to a police officer, man. He, he's like, yeah, he, they, he, he can, they can they can do it. No, wait, wait a minute. They're so stubborn to the point where even when the facts are displayed in front of your face. Well, no. It, he said, the guy said, isn't it illegal to be rude to a lady? Okay. Oh my God, y'all are bored. Why do all Karens look and sound like Karens? Oh my God, the way he turned the camera over to Kevin, I lost it. That shit scared me. Nothing no. scared. He looked like that worm from SpongeBob. Yep. Yeah. 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 Alaskan bullworm. Yeah. Karen and Kevin. I get a cake tip. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Karen to the police officer. Do you have a contract with the city hall and the moon? I know my sidewalk rights. It's not even her business. It's not your business. Just oh keep God, walking. Nobody cares about you. The one that doesn't want to be filmed is standing right in front of the camera. And also, even if you are in a clip, you just walk by, you're not feeling your best today. What is that even gonna do? Even if someone saw you online, the clip, no one would even remember or even care. No. You're an NPC. Well, I'm here. My bad, I'll just walk away. If if I didn't engage in the video and I didn't say anything or do it, who cares if somebody filmed me? And this is what happens a lot of times. I would say every time we go to film and we have the camera out in public doing any sort of interview, you have it here. any sort of anything, people, when they see a camera or you say, hey, we were doing a video, I don't, don't give me it. I feel uncomfortable. And it's it's a public flip. We'll be outside in public. Don't. And I just think, okay, you definitely don't have to do something you don't want to do. But there's this like mass hysteria of being videoed when technically you're getting videoed when you go into any store. There's a security camera. Your phone's recording your voice at all times and your data. Everything you've ever said. Your deepest, darkest secrets out loud have been heard so by somebody. You should probably be more worried about not having one of these, but you definitely do. And it's just like, yo, even if someone did see you on the thing, like you're not Drake. You're yeah, you're right. People have such an issue with the camera and being re thinking you're even recording somebody when you're not. It's like, Tony, don't bring the camera around me. Don't work with no recording, no recording. Ma'am, with all due respect, you're a nobody. Nobody's looking at your video. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Even if you're on video and you're on the billboard in Times Square, nobody would even know who you are. But I, I think people just live. You know, people are the main characters of their own life, and they think they're the main character of everyone else's life, also. Yeah, because what do they think that footage is gonna do to them? Exactly. <laughs> it's, only, it's only bad. Like they only can think bad. White woman leaves store. <laughs> White woman shopping, and then she sees herself on the TV. Oh no! I'm shopping. My worst nightmare. 
<laughs> God, man. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't stop with my bell, man. <laughs> this is Max level Karen. Shouldn't even believe the cop. She's going to the DA. <laughs> funny, funny stuff. Girl sucker punches male student and gets left in a puddle of tears. Is he a villain for his reaction or a hero of equal rights and lefts? Let's find out. <laughs> I'll be the judge. <laughs> Based on his body language, looks like he doesn't want to engage. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 Nah, that's fair. That's fair. Hast du gerade eine Bombe gegeben? No, no, don't cry, don't cry now. Don't cry now. He even put his hand up first to block it, like, hey, let's not do this. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Oh, oh, okay, so, all right, that part I don't know. Well, it looked like she went for, she went for seconds. <laughs> oh, did she? Okay, it I thought like, he just tackled her for no reason. Let me say that one more time. We need a translation in the comments. If he was two inches to the right, she would have been knocked out. I think she slapped and he he punched. Then again, Are you sure? that looked like a fist. Then again, it's still a hit. It's still a hit. Yeah, it's still a hit. <laughs> this versus it. Eh. And the people that are like analysis and break down like. Second by second, so what should happen? It's like you, you're not thinking of that in the moment. Yeah. <laughs> if somebody puts their hand, if I got hit in the face, it's almost. You just don't, I don't. You would want to say you want to walk away, but you also don't know. It's also would be my instinct. I feel like. Yeah. I got hit, bro. I'll just swing back. Real quick. And also, like you're processing, like if there's seven people around you looking at you, you might automatically think I have to prove myself or defend. I don't know. There's just. Well, since when did like it's self defense? This it person is, is. just assaulted me. That's what like, am I supposed to do? I even saw like the, the Navy <laughs> SEAL guy that uh, told us how to be walking. He was like, number one rule if you ever get into a street fight or about to, use your two feet and just walk away. Like you don't actually want to ever get in one, but then yeah. in the event that you have to, hey, you hit me. I don't want to. <laughs> you literally hit me, bro. Like, come on. <laughs> Y'all want equality, right? <laughs> Equal rights and lefts. Let me see this. I <laughs> got Did she run to him? Oh, she runs back. <laughs> Oh, she runs after him. Yeah, knocked the wind right out of it. It looked like she ran up to try to grab him. Come on, yeah, man. No, it looked like Can she you put your hands on me again? Yeah. I thought we just... Nah, that's all on her. We could have stopped. And then justified, don't hit anyone that you wouldn't want swinging back. Because the second you make that move, I'm going to hit you. And that's wait, okay. Wait, 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 don't hit me. No, 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 no. One thing I will teach my daughters is to never put your hands on a man because it's not right. Second, you don't know how that man will react. Third, you don't want to come visit daddy seeing me in an orange jumpsuit. Facts. Um, well, now you just opened up even more problems for yourself after that too. Like, okay, you don't know who he knows. You don't know how we're both can react even leaving this place now. Right. Everyone's verified on social media now. Oh you know, yeah, bro. Because you can pay yeah. for it. It's all, it's, checks. Like, it's all checks. It's like cooler to not be verified now. Bro, facts at this I'm point. I'm actually happy I'm not at this one. <laughs> There's a clip I want to play, which is, it's from uh, Fresh or Fit, and it's on par with this. I'm have to see what it's about. This is a short, speaking about a similar topic. Myron about to cook. I do realize that like a 13 year old boy will physically dominate, right? Negative. Mm. He could be feminine. A 13 year old boy that's able bodied, he's going to fuck you up. And here's the thing, this is how I know that we live in such a civilized world. We live in such a crazy civilized world that women forget the carnage that men are capable of. And that's as a boy. This is not a grown man. So if you take women by themselves, the, music. the men are going to come in, they're going to invade, and they're going to either kill you off or turn you into slaves. The only reason women are able to exist is because they have men protecting them from other men that want to conquer. You look at the military, predominantly men. Why? Because women are not suited for war. Period. You, you guys are not. I mean, you guys. The way they're looking. Enter the workforce until we gave you guys tampons, and men invented that too, by the way. <laughs> so, like a lot of the conveniences and things you enjoy, these modern conventions were created by men to make your life easier. And if men did not create them, you guys would have a really tough time living the lives that you live now. I'm not having a debate with Myron. I'm not. Where was the lie? I'm not going to. That's facts. Women really forget the true carnage men are capable of. Women that grew up with brothers understand just how strong men are. He could be feminine. She literally just proved his point. <laughs> she, when he said a 13 year old boy would dominate you. And then she goes, he could be feminine. Ma'am, you just articulated his exact point that the more feminine, the weaker you are. So by saying he's feminine, 
You just yeah. He's 100% correct. I go to the gym every day. This is a girl. I go to the gym every day and bust my ass, and I consider myself strong to be able to bench press 16 kilograms dumbbells. And beside me, there's a 15 year old who is not in shape, doing the same as his warm up. We are not the same. At the age of 13, my mom's older sister, my mom and older sister, couldn't control me anymore. The only person in the house that could put me in my place is my father, who was also another man. It's like it goes without saying, right? It's like you don't even say like men are. It's like yeah, duh. But that's the thing. Biology. The world is so easy that there's girls on the Fresh and Fit podcast that think they can beat up guys. Or maybe even the girl at that school. Maybe because my other girl's filming this, he won't hit me back. I'm a girl. If I hit him, he'll never hit me back. Like, they just think that they can get away with it. You don't know how people react. Especially another man. Hmm? That girl that slapped a little, little boy. She had a second in her head before she did that. She, she could have said, let me just yell at him and walk away. The only people that act like that are people who've never been hit before. So there that you know. girl doing that. What's her lesson? Yeah, well, yeah, that was her lesson right there. I don't think she'll be swinging on people because that, that was a little ass boy And he left her in a puddle of tears yeah. Slammed her ass. Mm hmm And again, if it was that bad, go tell the teacher. I don't know. Like how bad was it? I don't know. Bring another dude with you if you really want to throw it down We made it so easy for them that they really believe they don't need us anymore. The idea that like yeah well, What do we need men for? Or probably be the men over there doing all type of crazy shit in the military that I couldn't even do. There are people that really keep us safe and we don't even know what- Oh no, we, we have a lot of privilege. Is. Like in Israel, the second you turn 18, you have to join the military. Oh my God. Yep, no matter what. So even if I moved here, as soon as you turn 18, I have to go back. You have no choice. And you have to stay there till 21. It's for every every man. Damn. 18 to 21. And then you can do whatever, but you have no choice but to go to the military. I mean, think about... We have it good over here. Think about the, like, who's building your the buildings and the houses that you work in? Who who's outside office? doing the crazy high power line electrical? Generally, though. Who's generally. Who's generally doing it? I'm sure there's a handful or whatever, but... I'm not... And of course, there's women in the military and they, everything, but... It's overwhelmingly males the people baking these damn iphones i mean that people complain from yeah it's but that i mean if you don't know that like it goes like i don't feel you have to break it down but yeah it is she did the she fucked around she found out like <laughs> yeah. the more you fuck around <laughs> that's so true don't hit anybody yeah, try to be civil whatever yeah. we have a great message <laughs> damn we're good black student says white students are not allowed in the multicultural center y'all y'all know how i feel about this one public service Y'all didn't know this is the MSC, and frankly, there's just too many white people in here, and this is a space for people of color. So just be really cognizant of the space that you're taking up because it does make some of us POCs uncomfortable when we see too many white people in here. It's only been open for four days, and frankly, there's the whole university for a lot of y'all to be at, and there's very few spaces for us. So keep that in mind. Thank you. Woo! Cheering. Well, I thought the video was like a bystander. I didn't know yeah, it was her own girl. Looks like segregation is back. Yay! Multicultural diversity, equity, inclusion, etc. They've always meant not white. I'm pretty sure at least one white guy helped to build the multicultural room. <laughs> Incredibly racist young person. She should try that line at her first job. <laughs> I love the, we only have this one place argument. Like which place aren't people of color allowed to go on campus? What white only area of campus is she talking about? Like what, the entire campus is a non-black zone? What are you trying to say, lady? What uni is this? It's sad that, it's, that this racist complaint was met with cheers. Flip it to anything else. There's too many black people in here. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable. Yeah. Oh my God. Imagine the white guy saying that and there was like just three extra black people that we decided to pop in. Hey, there's too many black people in this room. Damn. Uh, so did the white people in the room have to just like pack up and just bounce like I even got in a debate with Imagine someone. your friends are there and they're black. You're like, All right, bro, I gotta go <laughs> No whites. <laughs> no, no whites. my bad. I was in a debate with someone older woman and she was saying it's impossible to be racist towards a white person And I was like, well, do you know how racism works? Like you could be racist Anybody can be racist towards anybody. But what I just racist. said there that's like a highly contested and controversial Isn't that crazy? If you say something racist, it don't matter whose mouth is coming out of course some races have been more racist than the others but you can't advocate for no racism and then be racist you just can't tell white people but white people now you kind of just have to shut up because if you say something hey that's not cool <laughs> i don't have an answer to this but it just <laughs> this is one isolated clip but she was proud though she clapped she's not gonna get any backlash i have a solution 
why don't we have an entire university for people of colors and then whites can go to a different school? Yeah, exactly. It's uh, it's like you're bringing back Jim Crow, but you're <laughs> no they, really, and they already have those universities. Mm-hmm. Then are we trying to move away from that? But LML, the perfect example of the result of the psychosis created by Jim Crow laws. I wish we could just show videos of the only best things of the world, but nobody clicks on that. Damn. You know what? I, th- I have one video I want to show. Actually, it's copyrighted, so I can't even show. Damn. Never mind. Sorry. 